my gosh, you guys. It is negative, negative eight degrees outside right now. Negative. My dog does not like cold weather either. We gonna be in and out real quick, watch. Woo! I know PJ, I know it's cold. I know, we're both cold. Are you serious? That level of cold is disrespectful. Five minutes. You guys, it was like five minutes. PJ is not fooling with me, okay? PJ was out there hopping on one foot. He like picked his back foot up. He was like, I'm not putting this foot. First of all, I don't even think we're out there five minutes. Maybe three minutes. I don't know why anybody needs to be out, right? It is so, it is so cold. Oh, oh my gosh. Like, you guys. We were out there maybe five minutes. I don't even think it was five minutes. Like, he peed and pooped so fast. I'm freezing. My hands are freezing. Like, negative eight? What the heck? First of all, I'm supposed to go grocery shopping today? That's not happening. I'm about to order that mug. We are ordering groceries. Today, I will pay the $12.99 fee, it's worth it. I'm, yeah, there's just no way in heck. I'm, oh, oh my God, it's so cold. Okay, let me get my life together. I'll be RB. Woo! Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. It is vlog week, I don't even know at this point. I think it's like vlog week seven, seven? What is, it's the second week. I think it's seven, seven or eight, whatever. I'm working from home today because it is ungodly cold outside and also apparently the people in my neighborhood decided not to like do anything to the roads. So the roads are like just covered in snow. I don't have the vehicle for that. My vehicle is very low to the ground. It gets stuck a lot. So working from home today. Um, I hope everybody had a wonderful week or is having a wonderful week. I think by the time you guys see this vlog, um, it'll be the week after. So yeah, working from home today. Um, I, you guys probably saw in my last video that I got my hair done. It's still hanging on. Um, I just got like a, a good silk press and a deep condition and all that good stuff. But I think it looks pretty good. It's grown a lot. Um, I was like actually looking at it and I'm like, oh my god, it's like bra strap, bra strap. Like my hair has gotten long, which is great. Like I'm so excited about it. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually waiting on remote access to my office at work. And um, I've got a few things to work on, but nothing too crazy today. Just wanted to pop in and say hello. I'm not going out. I'm waiting on my husband to get home because he's bringing me home um, a fruit cup from our favorite little Mexican um, shop. And I think he's getting like a juice or a smoothie or something like that. But then we're going to sit down and figure out what's on the grocery list. And I'm going to order it because I'm not I'm not leaving this house. Luckily, I did get a, um, a Panera Bread soup yesterday while we were out. So I think I'm going to have Panera Bread soup at lunch today. And then hopefully our other food will be delivered by now. I want to show you guys some pictures. Hopefully I'll get them um, back today. But I did have a photo shoot this weekend. Um with my photographer you guys know I'm always um shooting with her I try to shoot with her twice a week just so that um I have enough content and everything so I shot with her this week um and we did like some more like professional headshots like like nice photos without my computer because I've got a million with my computer we just wanted to make sure like we had a good variety so we took some really nice photos and I'm excited to see what those look like um, I took a few pictures of my hubby. You guys can already see those on IG. Just hop over on the IG. Make sure you're following me at the Jasmine Gant. Um, and then sometime this afternoon, I need to follow up because I've had a lot of inquiries about my services. <sighs> so I need to follow up with those people and um, just kind of see um, who they are, what their business is about, what they're looking for, see if we're a good fit. 
um, and make a decision on if I want to take on another client right now. The really hard thing about my business doing so well that I love is that I don't have um, the bandwidth to take on every single person that's interested and it kind of sucks because I want to take on every person. Like I meet these people, they have these bomb ideas and I'm like, oh my God, this just sounds so amazing. So I want to take them on, but you know, I just need to be a little smarter um, about it. And also just like I'm juggling a lot of things so I can't take on everyone. So all that jazz going on today, but nothing super crazy. Just ordering groceries. Um, oh, I finished my 40 day reset, you guys. That's what I forgot to tell you. So the 40 day reset was over February 10th. 40 days no um no alcohol no sweets no cakes cookie pies sugar added sugar none of that stuff um very very low to minimal bread or pasta if i did have any at all no dairy is that it no red meat that's done okay so drum roll actually i'm gonna go show you guys my little my little thing Okay, so we're in our bathroom and I keep track of like my weight. So I'm just gonna show you guys what look. So here we are, December 31st. I had gotten down to 148.8, and this is every day. And now February 10th, what does that say? 140.8. Ah, I lost eight pounds in 40 days. Your girl is happy. Very happy. Also, Bar, I just want to point out, I know you guys have seen me, but like Bar is transforming my body. I'm not even going to lie. Like when I tell you that like this looks so different and I'm not lying, you guys, my stomach, my body in general looks so different than what it did pre-Bar. I just want, I don't want to show you guys all my goodies, but I just want to show you this. Like this is drastically different than what it was a few weeks ago. So I'm really, really, really happy about it. It's like my stomach is tightening up and this is like the flattest my stomach has been in a really long time, like here. So I'm happy about that. For some reason, this upper part right here is moving slower than the bottom, but this is also a lot flatter. So you guys, I'm not kidding. Like this, I'll show you guys before photos, but honey, this stomach looks drastically different and I'm so happy about so it. So just really happy about that and gonna keep going, you guys, cause I still have 10 more pounds to lose. I'm at 140, my goal is to get back to 130, but I guess we'll see. My husband was saying that like, it's actually good that I gained weight, like mass, and then I'm dropping it and building muscle because my muscle will be like, more defined and larger like my booty will be bigger and like he's saying my arm muscles will be like more defined and my leg muscles will be more defined he was saying that like if i was really small and then i started weight training my muscles would be really tiny so he said this is actually a good way to go if i want like sculpting and toning um and actually uh grace who's my photographer she's trying to gain weight so she can do this so i guess it worked out in my favor um but this 140 pounds you guys looks drastically different than the last 140 totally different and i think it's just because like i have muscle like muscle started to be included so the goal was to get back to 129, 130, but i guess as we build muscle and like tone i guess we'll see what it looks like and if I don't need to lose the 10 pounds or um, if I don't need to be back to 129 to look my best, then I think I'll be okay with that. But I definitely just don't want to be in the 140s, that's for sure. Um, and it's clear that like I'm still holding on to fat that I could definitely probably lose and like still look a lot better. So we'll see what weight I land at. But I think my goal weight is still back to like 128, 129. That's like my comfort zone. Um, and that's like where I'm like, I feel pretty small for my height because I'm one, I'm five foot one. So for my height, the 120s is like a safe zone and it's also um, healthy per my doctor. So that's it. I'm going to get to work. Hopefully I get access really soon so I can um, make sure I'm getting stuff done for work. Let me put on my coat and just like pull myself together. I'm going to go take PJ out. I don't want to. It's so cold, but... All right, here we go. All right, guys, it's lunchtime. Look who's here. Get in the room. Husband's here. It got really hot in here for a second, so I had to take my sweater off. Hold on, let me put it back on. Okay, it's lunch. I'm about to eat some lunch, but um, my brother's in town because he has a speaking engagement. Um, so he stopped by to say hi, and we went ahead and gave him his his birthday present. And Brandon forgot to send him his Christmas gift, so he sent him that too. His birthday is next week. He's gonna be 29. He's getting. 
up. He's getting old. No, nah, you forgot. I sent you a thousand messages, babe. Did you send Trey's gift? Did you send his? Yeah, babe, I'm gonna do it this week. I put it in my car, so I go to the post office. Everybody else showed up to the um, gift exchange. So he's here. He's he stopped by to say hey, but we went ahead and gave him his gift from the season. Oh yeah, that's nice. He got a bright pink. <laughs> Told him, kid. What's up? Y'all better have your mask on. <laughs> They got that <laughs> out of here. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. That's nice. Yeah, man. So, well, I love you. Be safe. Text me when you make it. I love you too. I'll let you know when I make it back. Bye. Bye. Be safe. It's freezing out there. I will. Bye, man. Thanks. Love, you. love you too, bro. It's cool. Look how cold it is, y'all. Uh uh. Uh uh. And the snow is still coming. Mm -mm. Woo. Okay. So, he's leaving. He's got a speaking engagement tomorrow so to get stuff done. It's lunchtime. I just made some mandu in the air fryer and some french fries for Trey and some hot links for Trey. We literally just threw stuff together because like I said, we need to order groceries, which I think I'm gonna do in a minute. Well, got stuff to do and got work to do, so BRB. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. So I'm getting ready to head to work. I'm just finishing my coffee i decided to make a whipped coffee this morning to give me a little extra like boost for actually having to go into work today because i'm just still not feeling it so i'm heading to work but i'm just trying to like chill it's only it's 8 28 so i'm good on time um i uploaded a video for a client yesterday but she had some tweaks so she forgot to add so i'm re-uploading it for her now I had a few other things that I really needed to get done yesterday that did not get done. So sometime today I'm going to get those done. Um, on a super exciting note, I don't know what the heck happened. But one of my like super boring, super boring reels like is like going. Like I went to sleep last night and it was at 10,000. I woke up this morning, it's at 14,000. Um, and... Over the weekend, I got like 250 new followers. So it's definitely got to be this reel because it's been going. Um, but I also had like two other reels that did pretty good. So I'm feeling pretty excited about my reels right now. Um, I need to get some more film this week. And I was thinking that I would do them like Wednesday. Um, because normally on Tuesdays, today's Tuesday. Normally on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I go to bar at 5.45. But bar was canceled this morning because of the negative temperature. So I'm a little salty about that because I missed Saturday and Sunday because we are on vacation. Now I'm missing today. It's three days. I can't. I can't. We got to get back together. So, um, so far I haven't heard anything being canceled tomorrow or Thursday. So hopefully I'm going to get back into like my groove. And if that is the case, I'll probably do like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just so I can like get my body back into the groove because... I hate like really progressing and then you kind of like slack and that happens to me a lot but with this 40 day um, like reset my body definitely reset a lot bar helped a ton like I feel like I have muscles in my I know it sounds crazy but like I feel like I'm sitting up and like I feel like my core is like activated a lot more often and I'm like oh like I feel myself like tightening like my stomach wants to be abs and I'm right there along with it like me mind body you guys that's what bar is all about it's mind body spirit my mind my body we both want to arrive at abs by this summer so i gotta get back to bar like it's not even a game it's i have to get back so i'm hoping that's the case we'll see um they canceled this morning but i'm gonna go ahead and probably sign up for friday 5 45 as well which means tomorrow morning is the day that I have to like get up, do my makeup, and film some reels. I also probably should film some videos for YouTube as well, you guys. But um, to be a little honest, I've just been a little overwhelmed with everything. And I've been trying to just be smart about my efforts. Like one of my um, good blogger friends, she's just like, hey, we work full time. You can't try to keep up with bloggers that are doing this full time. Like they don't, ha they don't have outside jobs. This is their full time job. So 
I'm trying to give myself like that grace right there, you guys. Like, okay, this is not your full-time job, Jasmine. So like posting five times a week on YouTube and every single day on Instagram and getting your client stuff done and working full-time and being a wife, like that's a lot to try to keep up with and I'm just not about that pressure. Um, and during our morning prayer, my husband was like, it's called grace and pace, honey. Like we're doing, we're using grace and pace and we watch pastor darius daniels and he calls it jaywalking and it's just a reminder that like we can get so much further with god taking our time for him um taking our time for our family and walking with him than we can by rushing hustling like driving ourselves insane by ourselves so i've really like honed into that this february and that's what i'm doing grace and pace so forgive me i know you guys saw that i cut back on videos on youtube um and I actually had a client that I wanted to work with that I did not take on because like I can't operate like this is a full time business for me because I've obviously it's not. So I'm just trying to be a little better with that, like not stressing myself out, you know, like at one point I had like six clients and that was just like just not smart. Um, so luckily a few of them, them were seasonal, so it was fine, but you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm learning, I'm growing and adjusting as an entrepreneur and you know, it is what it is. So I just got good. My client's video is up. Her little tweaks are done. So that's good. Um, and I am going to finish my coffee and head to work this morning. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that was a word for some of you guys. You can get a lot further with God um, walking than you can with hustling and running yourself to death. Um, just have faith and trust God, trust his promises. And don't try to overwork yourself or overextend yourself trying to outrun God's timing. Like God's timing is going to happen. You might as well take your time, lean in him and enjoy the process. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just enjoying the process. So I'm going to finish my whipped coffee because I definitely am going to need it, head into work today and then get home and plan out the reels that I'm going to get done for tomorrow. And who knows, I may even film another YouTube video. So <laughs> it's all good. I'll check back in with you guys sometime this week, but I hope you're doing super well. And now let me get my butt up and head to work. <laughs>
So I, as you saw, um, got all dressed up and got ready for um, the day. And this morning was my day to shoot reels. I shot four reels. Um, and my reels have actually been doing really good, which makes me really excited. So I shot four reels today and I try to get my bang for my buck whenever I do my makeup and hair and everything because <laughs> most days I don't. I've got bar tomorrow morning through tomorrow and Friday at 5.45 a.m. So I knew I probably wasn't going to do it then. So just wanted to get it done now. Getting dressed for the day. I'm wearing my little cream dress from H&M. I think it was like last fall. But you guys, this was like ugh, one of the best purchases I've made from H&M. It's such a pretty dress and it's really comfortable. And even with the weight that I've lost, I actually bought it a little smaller because I knew I was going to lose the weight um but even with the weight i've lost it still looks really good honestly it looks even better because it's a little more oversized um i'm gonna throw on some perfume really quick i'm gonna wear the um replica jazz club today yeah. i already have on my um seven virtues vanilla woods and i like to mix this and jazz club together because it kind of smells like a like a campfire you know it's like a sexy or so so I have two meetings this week tomorrow is Thursday I have a meeting with a potential social media client and then Friday I have a meeting with a potential video editing client I'm only making space for one more client in each area so once they're filled they're kind of filled and I've had like people reaching out to me going like I'm gonna reach out to you and I'm like you better do it soon because the spot is getting filled and I'm not adding more spots you guys I gotta be diligent as I told you guys I'm gonna be diligent not only for my clients but for myself you know I don't want to stress myself out I don't want to overwork myself I don't want to worry myself to death so I'm making sure that I only take on the clients that will work well with me and also that I'll work well for and a very minimal amount for now we'll see what happens in the future but for now I'm just trying to keep it like trying to keep it kosher trying to keep it chill trying to keep it like you know relaxed up in here I don't be stressing myself out which I am good for doing so this is me jaywalking I'm employing that all February I told the Lord me and you I'm, I'm gonna slow it down <laughs> so I'm slowing down um so heading to work now i'll see you guys this afternoon my brother flies home today it makes me a little sad but i'm happy i got to see him before his birthday he'll be 29 next week and i'm like oh, i'm getting old <laughs> but yeah so i'm heading to work and i'll see you guys a little later today hope everybody's doing good hello friends i haven't seen you guys in a while and i miss you a lot um you guys know last week was valentine's day you may have already watched that vlog um and hubby and i had a really good time but you also know that i was doing that cleanse and i just i was acting up y'all i had pizza on valentine's day weekend and i had some steak um waffles like and you just can't dive back into your diet after you do something like that but i did i had quesadillas the next week queso can't be trusted because i know better and so i was sick all last week i was sick all last week i felt even worse this weekend and i was like i gotta get it together because it's just pfft. so anywho i didn't vlog or anything last week you guys so I'm sorry, I just, I didn't feel good because I don't know how to act. <laughs> so anywho, even though I didn't feel good, I did some shopping because you guys know I was holding out on my shopping during this 40 day reset. So as soon as I could take off, I took off. <laughs> so I got, um, I got a really cute shirt from Free People. I bought a lot of stuff from the Lori Harvey Naked Wardrobe Collection. And then I also bought a bunch of stuff from Zara. So I'm going to try it all on for you guys. I don't know if I'm going to try it all on today. I just don't really totally, I don't, I'm still not feeling well. So I'm not in the greatest of moods to do it. But I am going to try on this Lori Harvey stuff because I need to decide if I'm going to keep it or return it. So let's do that now. All right, you guys, I came to my bedroom so we could see this a little better. So this is the brown set. I didn't realize it was see-through and maybe it's just because I have on my white workout sports bra but it's you know I can see through it a little bit here's the set this top to me what's weird is that I have really skinny arms and I feel like it's really tight the top is really tight this is a medium 
It's pretty cute though. These are the pants. The pants are also in a medium. They're baggy, kind of got like some crotch space here. Um, Loose-ish. It's a little tighter on my thighs, um, but it's a good size and it definitely is like a, a like kind of like a loose baggy. I actually have some space down here. I'll show you. See this? Like, it's not super tight on my stomach. There's some space around there. So, so this is the first one. I feel like it's cute, but I'm not overly like impressed. I'm not like this is the cutest thing I've ever worn, but it is very cute. The top is also cute as well. Um, everybody was kind of commenting on the quality of the sweatpants, and I will say that these are like some very thick sweatpants. The top to me does feel nice, but I don't know if it feels drastically different from like Zara, if you've ever shopped at Zara, but the top does feel nice. But the sweatpants, I could definitely tell a drastic difference in these versus a lot of the other sweatpants I wear. But this is outfit number one. This is in the mocha chocolate brown. Y'all see me out? Y'all see your girl out here losing some weight? Look at that belly going down. She's getting there. So this is pretty cute. I'm really happy that I got the medium because I definitely think the medium is the right size for me. Let's try outfit number two. Okay, guys, so top number two. This is, like, they are see-through. I know I'm not crazy. Um, I have a white sports bra under this, but this is the crop top with the side knot. I don't know if it's just me, but this side knot looks a little different than, I, th I don't know why I thought the side knot looked different, but to me it looks, it's just like a little ball on the side. It don't look the same. It's um, a nice material. It's very stretchy, but once again, like I said, I don't know if the top quality is just as amazing as people have been saying it is, um, especially because this is see-through. So everybody's been like, oh, it's double lined and all this, and I'm like, eh. Yeah, I don't know. Clearly, I know I'm not supposed to wear white bra on this, but yeah, just so you guys can see. I think this top was like $40, and I'm just like, I don't know, you know? Like, it's a cute top, but is it worth $40? Like, um, I think the knot y'all is throwing me. This little knot on the side just looks, it looks, <laughs> it looks like it's not supposed to be there. Can y'all see that? Like, this, it just looks a little confusing. So, I don't even know if I could take this knot out and, like, redo it myself, but I don't know. I did buy the pants to match this, but they haven't come in yet. So I kind of want to keep this top, even though it was expensive, because I like the color of the pants. So there'd be a cute little cohesive set. And because I'm not overwhelmed with the chocolate top, then I might be sending the entire chocolate set back. So I at least want to have like one brown set. So I think I'm going to decide between the two, but... You know, this is pretty comfortable. I think I'd probably be fine if it just wasn't tied. This is the brown. Let's go try on the black and the white. All right, you guys, this is outfit number two. The Lori Harvey bottoms and the naked wardrobe. This is supposed to be the snatch top. I got this in a size medium. It's a razor back, like a cute little, I'll turn around so you can see it. It's like a cute little razor back situation. Um, like a very simple, comfortable, it's very stretchy kind of like situation. I like this a lot. <sighs> you guys, I, I'm at a dilemma though because y'all know I love white. Like I love all white. And I'm just trying to figure out if I'm playing myself by buying these <laughs> these white bottoms. Like I love, I love it. I love it. I do, you guys. But I just feel like I'm playing myself because I know I'm not going to be able to keep this clean. <gasps> oh, but it's really cute. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I like the all white situation, but I don't know. This to me in the front, I don't know what this is, but I feel like I've got some extra bag here. It's not giving me flattery totally. I might be able to let it go. I'm keeping the bodysuit for sure, but the white pants is what makes me nervous. I'm just not sure if I, you know what's weird? I really, really like them, but I don't know if they look good on me. Like the, I don't know what it is about this crotch space here. <laughs> like the crotch space is kind of long, and I know it's supposed to be high waisted, but it's still kind of baggy here. I don't know. It just looks different on me. I don't know. Um, so here's the white. The white's pretty cute. I'm definitely gonna keep the top because I always need a good stretchy like white top. 
So definitely keeping this. Just not sure about the pants. The pants though, the thing that makes me want to keep them is that they're a really good quality. Like you can tell that they're thick because you can't totally see through this. Like obviously you can see the pocket a little bit. But most of the time when you have whites, y'all know like it's just a drastic, drastic difference. And it just looks crazy. But these are really good quality. And I have these really cute all white Pumas. I have some really cute Orachis too. But like... It would just be so cute. I just don't know if it's like the the shape of the pants is not I don't know. It's kind of boxy. All right, this is it. I'm going to change it to the black so you guys can see that next. Okay, so here is the next set. This is the black with the Lori Harvey crop top that has the peep cut out in the front and the sweatpants once again. Um I'm still having the same issue with these sweatpants, y'all. And I know y'all see this. Like, combination of the way that I'm shaped and these sweatpants, I don't know if they totally agree with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this plus this baggy piece in the front just makes me look so wide. And I don't know. It's bumming me out because I really wanted some, like, good quality sweatpants. Um... Yeah, I don't know. But the top to me feels much better than the other tops have felt. This feels thicker. The material feels like more double lines. So maybe I just didn't get the right like design with the right material. But this top feels better than the other ones that I've had that I've tried on so far. So especially that like one with the little knot on the side, it just was not really it wasn't hitting. But this is a cute little set. It's all black. Which I can always get with because, you know, I like black, it's slimming, etc. But I don't know what it is about this that I just feel like it's accentuating the areas where I'm still trying to lose weight so it doesn't look as good. And it's just, I, you know, I could be weird about it, but you guys tell me what you think. Like, it's, it's really cute, okay? cute outfit but I'm just not sure well and it's lined on the inside like a I'll show you the lining hold on so this is the lining it's like a fleece and it's nice and it's also really really warm like this is warm warm I don't know why this collection didn't come out fall winter but these pants are hot so I don't even know you know what I mean like especially as a sweatpants lover I really don't think I could wear these in like spring summer like if the sun is out I couldn't see myself wearing these because these mugs are hot okay like hot hot but overall it's pretty cute I just don't know if it's for my body shape which kind of bums me out because I went all out y'all as y'all can see I spent a lot of money <laughs> a lot of money okay um, but if it's not me, it's just not for me. I'd rather like, you know, spend that coin on something that like is gonna fit me perfectly and I'll be really happy with, but I'm just trying to decide. I'll give myself a day or two. I do really like the quality of this top and I'm, I wish that this top was just like a bodysuit or a tank top, like no cutout, just a full bodysuit or tank top because the quality is really nice. It feels really good. I would wear this. Like I'd buy this in a bunch of different colors if it, you know they had a top like this so I may go back and look at naked wardrobe and just take a look at like some of the tops that they have crew neck wise because if this was a bodysuit with like no cutout okay like this is something that I could wear to work or pretty much anywhere else and it's very comfortable it looks nice the quality is pretty nice next thing okay you guys so done with the Lori Harvey collection and this is from Zara the pants you guys probably already know, but my favorite pants are from Zara. They're these pleated pants because look at this. It just, it just does us so much justice. <laughs> like, does me so much justice. It's just so cute. These pleats here are just everything. And the second I was able to fit back in my pants, because you guys know that I gained a lot of weight during quarantine. The second I could fit back in my favorite pants, I got back on Zara and they had some spring colors and these are just the cutest i wear them to work i wear them honestly pretty much anywhere i've worn them on dates like they're just such a nice flattering pant so i got them in this really pretty sage green and i love it and then i got this top from free people which is also really cute like it's different the sleeves are huge um and they've got really nice detail on them this is like a linen material and the quality is just like ridiculous it's a really good quality hence why it was so expensive <laughs> but um the front clips like this i don't know if you can see it but there are little clips here 
and if you want obviously you can like unclip it oh here we go again you can unclip it like this if you want to or you can clip it all the way up and just kind of wear it like this which is probably how I wear it but she's just so cute like this little outfit is just giving me so much life after that Lori Harvey collection just disappointed me but this is cute right like what really cute so um this is free people the top the bottom pants are Zara and I'm actually bought another color so I'm gonna flip to that so you guys can see okay so these are the second color this really pretty spring blue like you guys aren't these cute oh the pant they just look so good now don't mind me because as I've said you guys I've been losing weight these fit a little more snug than the other size mediums that I have so I don't know if it's just that like I've worn those enough and I've kind of loosened them up or if they went a little down on their sizing but no worries I still have like eight or nine more pounds to go so these will fit really good but they're so cute like the color is just ugh. I love these pants so much and what's even better is that the high waisted is like look at this it's high like really really high waisted so it just it gives you full body it gives you curves and all the right places it's loose enough on my thighs so that it's not like too tight like I really love these but right now they're just a little snug a little snug until I like wear them in and you know continue to lose a little weight but these are my favorite and I just this top that I got from Free People is just everything. Do you hear me? Everything. I feel like I'm going to wear it with so many things, but it's just ugh, so cute. Okay, so I got one last thing, and it's just a pair of sweatpants from Zara. And I was waiting on the next Naked Wardrobe collection to come in to decide if I was going to keep the ones from Zara. But after my disappointment, I'm going to keep the ones from Zara um, because they fit a lot better. So I'll show you those. Okay, guys, so last thing I forgot to show you. So this black top. A lot of you guys have seen me wear a similar top to this on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, what are y'all doing? Y'all should be following me there. Um, but I posted some pictures from my photo shoot there and I had a cream version of this. And everybody was asking me where I got it. Like, where did you get this from? And I told everyone where I got it. And then I thought to myself, like, that. every time I do that, it always sells out. And I never go get what I want. So I told everybody where I got it. But in the same breath, I was on there trying to get it in the black. Just to make sure it didn't sell out before I could get to it. Um, but yeah, so here's what the black looks like. It came in a few days ago. Um, but really cute. The black is a little different in that it's got this little dip in the front. And the white didn't have that. But both still have this um, side detail here. This little cut detail in this here. So... Still a very, very cute top that I can either wear like this, like up on my shoulders, or I can wear it down like this. I think it's just kind of like up to you and your style where it feels most comfortable. But yeah, I like this top too. Very, very cute. All right, you guys, here we go. So these are the sweatpants from Zara. Can you guys see the difference? Like they just fit a lot better. No pouch here. They're... A lot more comfortable that give what's you a little booty accent. What's the angle that you're trying to show everybody? I'm just trying to show them my outfit. Yeah, I don't like that angle. Uh -huh. Whatever. Go the um, they're more comfortable. They sit really nicely here. So I'm kind of bummed because I really, really wanted those other sweatpants. But these are going to be better and that's fine. So I'm probably just going to hop on Zara and go ahead and order um the other colors in these because I'm basically probably going to send three pairs of those naked wardrobe pants back and I bought four but I don't think I'm keeping them all they just don't flatter me that well but these Zara ones fit very cute very comfortable the top appears actually pretty snug so you know it sits in my waist pretty nice they're just comfortable um and they they look really flattering in my opinion like you guys tell me what you think. I think they're they're a lot more flattering than the Lori Harveys were. So, And the bottoms of these are also like a little more bell bottoms than the Lori Harvey ones were cuffed. Which isn't a big deal. I like them both. But I think I like these a lot better. So, Anywho, this is my little haul. My hubby went to Target and got us some vegan chicken nuggets. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Alright you guys, so hubby and I are about to eat dinner. We were supposed to be eating Chipotle, but they were packed, so he went to Target and got Kung Pao cauliflower wings. So probably won't actually use the Kung Pao seasoning because we have our own 
um, cauliflower sauce that we like to use. So we'll probably end up using that. But, oh, I need to put a little trash bag in the kitchen. But I wanted to show you guys something because I got home and there's this huge box here. And I'm like, what the heck is that? And it says Mardi Gras on it. So I knew it came from my brother who lives in Louisiana. So let me show you guys. PJ, it ain't for you. It ain't for you. PJ, go to your bed. Okay, look at this. You guys, isn't this cool? It says Mardi Gras, Kaluta's King Craig. Kaluta's, Kaluta's King Cake, Happy Mardi Gras, Love Trey. Cream cheese filled king cake, iced parade cake. Interesting, it's huge though, like look at this. Okay, so let me open it. Babe, did you open this? I'm surprised my husband didn't open it because he loves sweets. Oh, okay. Oh, it kind of looked like um, a donut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, can you guys see it? Ooh, like a cinnamon. Ooh. Yeah, it kind of looks like a cinnamon roll donut. What's this? It was good though. That might be the baby in there. Is that a cup? Yeah, Trey said something about don't be afraid of the baby Jesus. But I think it's something like they cut the cake and if you get the baby, it's like a good luck charm. That looks like a cinnamon. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nice. It kind of looks like a cinnamon roll, right? Ew, it does kind of look like a cinnamon roll. It yeah, says is, cream cheese. This Ew. is as good as gone. Yeah, it definitely looks like cinnamon. Should we warm it up? All of it? I don't know. Nah, we ain't got to warm all of it. Get up, get on over. Warm it up. Why I got to do all that? Let me, I just want to see if it tastes good. Go ahead, boo. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm going to close my eyes. You're, you're such a liar, dude. It does not taste like a cinnamon roll. It does not? No. That's a duck. Grab a, um, okay. a plate, baby. There's something different in there. I haven't tried this. No, it doesn't. It's just cream cheese. It tastes just like one. That does not taste like a cinnamon roll. That's exactly what it tastes mm -hmm. like. Because that's exactly what it is. No, there's something different in there. Well, that is, I mean, it's the king cake version of a cinnamon roll. Whatever that means. It's good. It's cinnamon roll light, but it doesn't taste like cinnamon roll. Like the texture and everything is cinnamon roll light, but it, I don't know. It tastes different. All right, y'all. It's my brother's birthday, so it's funny that we got it on his birthday. We're gonna have to call him to say thank you. But yeah, we're gonna eat our cauliflower wings. I don't know about these. They look kind of sketchy, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know y'all, they look a little sketchy. Let me show you. Compared to the ones that I cooked, these look different. Okay. Why on camera they look so good? But I don't know, is it me or do they look like heavily breaded? They look heavily breaded. I don't, so I don't know y'all, let me see. I'm mad because I'm talking trash about it and then the camera make it look all good. <laughs> all right, we're going to dinner. We're going to eat dinner. Then we're going to bed at seven o'clock. Actually, I need to work on something for a client before I go to bed, but see you guys tomorrow. Now try this with your man and post it. I'm trying to see something. Okay. And the point is they, they're saying that women and men uh, have different centers of gravity so that men can't do stuff where like you have to like get yourself back up. Ah. Uh, really? Okay. Like there's this whole thing. It's on Twitter and everything. And I ain't got nobody to do it with. So that's what I call it. <laughs> Hold on. Let me put some clothes on. I'm naked. Alexa, turn on the living room lamp. Okay. I'm telling you right. right now. This is doable. It's easy. Okay, let me see. So, okay, so what do we have to do? We have to get, wait, hold on. Give me space. Okay. Dude, come back. Come on. Girl, I don't know if I can get up. <laughs>
Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. I need another try. I need another try. There you go. I, if I don't put, I gotta like push off though. I had to like push off like this. So I cheated. Like coming here? Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that's hard. That is so interesting. I want to know the science behind that. That's interesting. I'm very interested now. Okay, so you can't, babe, okay, you can't do this. I had to like there really was push off. Test that I saw that y'all could do. Like if I do this. Wait, can you just gotta, try to bend over by it with your arms and see if you can do no, this? No, I'm telling you, I like got to push back and off to but, do but it. But just bend over from here and see if you can do that. Okay, so you can do that, but you can't pull Wait, your. But there is something about going up. Here, I'm going to send you the other one. Okay, because you can't do this. Oh. No, I'm telling you. Okay, explain it to me, babe. So put, oh wait, no, let me get a light. I'll go up to the wall. Okay. And put your feet against the baseboard. Put one foot behind the other, like right behind it. And then you're gonna put your head. Put the other foot right behind it. Now bend over. Or, or, or put your feet together at that point. Side by side? Yeah, side by side. Put okay. your head on the wall. Put my head on the wall. Yes. Now get the chair. Okay. Put it to your chest. Leave your head on the wall. Oh, leave my head on the wall. Wait to your chest. And stand up. And stand up. Foot behind it. Other foot behind it. Now put both your feet together. Okay. Now bend your head up. Put your head against the wall. Okay, grab the chair. Now sit up straight. I'm up. Come on, babe, do it. Okay. Foot behind. Okay, good. Head on the. Don't put your hands on the wall. Put your head on the wall. I'm gonna put my head on the wall. I need my hand to get my head there. <laughs> put your hand down. <laughs> she. <laughs> you're such a cheater. No, baby, I want to see if you can do it. Okay. You're such a cheater, B. You're such a cheater. Okay, now stand up. You did it? Ah, that's right. Does that's that count? Right. That's right. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like he's cheating, but he got up that time. You were so cheating, B. That's all mental. It's all mental. I'm going to figure out what the science is because that really intrigues me. 